Hey guys, um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, just a little rundown on the Intel processor uh, history. I'm sure most of you guys know it, but maybe if there's one or two of you out there that don't, um, I'll just explain what we're going to do here. The uh, When Intel came out with the Pentium 4 series, their uh, first line was the William Met, I believe it was pronounced, and that was their uh, 400 megahertz processor. And then they went to the uh, Northwood processor, which was their 533, and then finally the Prescott, which was their 800 megahertz uh, Pentium 4. Well, when Intel decided to make a dual core processor to try to compete with uh, AMD's X2, they came out with the Pentium D series, or D for dual core. Uh, what they did was take two of the uh, Prescott cores that they were previously unit using and put them both onto one die to make a dual core. Um, the Prescott itself wasn't a bad processor. It was fairly high, you know, good for overclocking. Uh, temperatures were a little high on it because of the 800 megahertz bus. Um, so when they put two of them on the D chip, they basically made a real heater out of it. Um, one of the big problems with overclocking these is the temperatures are already so high at idle that it's hard to uh, do much with them. Um, this particular one in the gateway was idling at 51 degrees Celsius with basically no load on it. So one of the problems with trying to overclock them was trying to keep the temperatures down so you could uh, try to feed a little more voltage to it. Um, so in this video we are going to try to do some lapping on this one and see if there's any way we can take one of these older D processors and uh, make it into something that could be overclocked or used for gaming. Uh, it's not really that good for anything else at this point, so I figured it's uh, really not much of a waste to try it, and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes. So let's get our sandpaper out and get ready to start lapping this. Okay, well, nothing fancy here, just a plate of glass taped down in a sheet of 400 grit uh, wet dry sandpaper um, that we're going to start out with. I'm not going to go too much into uh, techniques and whatnot. There's so many uh, good videos on YouTube already of people uh, showing uh, great techniques for lapping and stuff so we won't go into too, de too much detail there. Um, you can check out the one that uh, TJ Harlow did. Uh, he shows a good technique on lapping as well as several others so um, basically, I'm just going to start uh, lapping this and see how it comes out. I just wanted to get one quick shot in here. Um, basically did just uh, one set on this uh, processor so far. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but all the way around the outside edge, you can see how it's getting shiny. Um, that just tells me that this uh, chip was high all the way around on the edges and possibly why the temperatures were running so hot on it being the cores are in the center and the cores were not uh, making good contact with the heat sink so just wanted to get a shot of that before I go on. Well I'm not sure how well this is going to come out. The uh, camera's getting a lot of glare but I just wanted to show that we're still taking more and more off of the uh, edges and you can see four like white dots where the uh, coating is still fairly thick in the corners so it had high spots in the corners as well as the whole center is still uh, coated so uh, basically we haven't gotten down to where anything has made good contact yet which uh, really surprises me but I just wanted to get a shot of that before I went on well here's a shot of our progress so far tonight um, I just basically got all the coating off it got it all down to copper if we can make that out, uh, tomorrow we'll start polishing or shining it up a little bit more. Make a little better contact, but uh, you really got to take your time when you do these. Uh, so far it took me probably about four hours tonight just to get it to this step. So I probably got it, you know, that much time again tomorrow just to finish it. But just wanted to get a shot and show you where we're at with it. Okay, we're uh, done lapping the CPU. I'm not sure how good this is going to show up in the camera. Um, you can see the reflection here on this coupon. 
not sure if you can make out the words and stuff, it actually looks really good uh, in real life, probably compared to the reflection that we're going to get out of the camera, but uh, that's it for that one. Uh, I'm going to uh, pull the uh, heat sink out and check that for squareness, see if we have to do anything on that, and then we'll try it and see what our temperatures are doing. I just wanted to get a shot in here of it uh, installed in the motherboard. This is going in the uh, Gigabyte G31M uh, motherboard. We're going to use this one for overclocking. Looks pretty good, nice and shiny. And I checked out the surface on the uh, Thermal Dig Blue Orb 2 to make sure it was flat and level. So we're going to have a nice copper on copper contact. Uh, so let's put this together and see what it does. All right, it's up and running. I'm not sure how well you can make this out. Um, it's idling about 38 to 39 Celsius. Uh, it was idling at 51 before we did the lapping and uh, switched the heat sink on it. So uh, not too bad. A 13 degree Celsius drop on the temperature should give us some room to uh, try to do a little overclocking on it, see if we can increase the performance. 